Hello, everybody. Um, it, it's pouring outside, rain, and um, I decided I'd, I'd share something. Uh, I really didn't, wasn't planning on doing another video tonight, but something happened today that I, I feel it's important to share uh, just to make sure some people are aware of uh, different types of scams that you can be hit with. Excuse me. Uh, whether if, if, if you have a business license uh, through your state agencies or what, ha what have you, there's a lot of uh, scammers that will try and um, duplicate the documents and make it look like it's an official document from whatever state you, you know you reside in. So I should be looking here. I'm sorry. It's I always look at myself on on the laptop when I you know the, I know the the lens is there. So I'm I'm going to try and work on getting better at that. But so um, <clears throat> I live in the state of Florida. I, I have a business license in the state of Florida. I've had it for a long time. And, um, you know, every, everything is, is in order with that. So um, every once, when, when I first got the, the business license, um, I, I was getting, um, I was getting like weird. As soon as you, you get a, a business license, it's, there's like predators come out of the woodwork and try and like you can, some of them aren't even like really good like fake scams are like they're so blatant it's like ridiculous but one was um there was i think the document's called a certificate of authenticity or something it looks like almost like a uh, like a vertical uh graduation diploma or something like that with the seal on it and all that stuff and it, it's like 75 dollars <clears throat> And I remember I had the op the option when I was going through with the um, state of Florida to get that, and it, I remember it was seventy five dollars. So I did get that. And then when I finally went to the bank at that time, <clears throat> they told me it, it's totally not necessary. That you know, so um, they they would there a lot of people will try and make it look like it's the state of Florida or you know whatever state you went, you're in, uh, trying to sell you. A document that would probably cost them two dollars to print and mail it to you. So uh, that's that's the 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 easy end of uh, uh, what I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to show you some stuff today that just just like it's crazy. I don't I don't know how these people are not put in jail for re repeatedly. Uh, I will. I think I'm definitely going to report this one. But um, so I, I do have a, a trademark for my brand with. The uh, United States uh, Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO is what it's called. The website is USPTO.gov. So um, once again, I'm looking down here. I'm trying to look into the camera, get better at this. But um, so I, I get these these correspondence every once in a while and about all this stuff. So I got I I recently just checked to make sure everything was in order with with my uh, trademark. Every, everything's good. Uh, there's some things I do want to improve on with that, but um, it comes down to finances. But so uh, if you hear me sniffle, I'm sorry. I have a sinus problem on this left nostril and it, it's been driving me nuts. So I apologize. Um, so I get something in the mail today. I'm going to show you the envelope first. Yeah, I'll show you the envelope. The envelope right here, it's showing this address. It's trying to make it look like the USPTO. It says Patent and Trademark Bureau, and it shows an address in Pennsylvania. Well, first of all, I knew that was BS because uh, the USPTO office, United States Patent and Trademark Office, is located in Alexandria, Virginia. So I'm like, I already knew something was shady. So I'm going to uh, just read a couple things on this document and then show it to you. Once again, I'm going to uh, show you the header, which they try and make it look like a very official document. There's the header. See all the QR codes and all that fancy stuff? Yeah, they're, they're, they're full of it. So it, there's the, the, I like how they, they, uh, they label it as a reminder. It looks very official and everything. Well, yeah, I'm still good for a couple of years. 
easy. Like one year at the at the bare minimum, two, I'm I'm like up to three years. You know, I would, you know, after like two years, I think I'd have to pay different late fees or whatever. So I already know I'm good there. So then I'm gonna show you this. There's not too much personal information on here, but uh, I'm gonna try and point it out right here. Right here. I'm gonna show this to you right there. It's saying the expiration date is the end of this month. All right, so I'm like, all right, yeah, I don't think so, Chief. So, uh, so I'm reading it, reading it, reading it, reading it. So I, I have my, uh, I have my official document from the trademark office, USPTO, and I'm looking at that. So I, I knew I was good, but I decided, you know, let me just cover my butt and just, I went to the, to the website today, checked on that and, and I'm good. But what I want to, I want to read to you is like, I guess some people are just village idiots. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm not this stupid. So it says, uh, basically it says, please return uh, this document with your signature and or company stamp in the appropriate space below. If you would like to renew your trademark, your trademark will be renewed for the period of another five years. The renewal fee is $1,250 for one class, $650 for each additional class for the whole period of five years. You will receive an invoice, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm like, come on, man. That's, that's the best you can do. <laughs> I'm like, but people fall for this kind of stuff. So um, just do your homework, people. Do your homework. If you have a business license, you know, don't fall for something. I, like, I, I get these all the time. <coughs> I had a, uh, uh, I get these ones that say uh, your your uh, abandoned trademark is due and all this stuff. And like, I'm good. I already know I'm good. You know, I, it's just crazy. And they, they, they try and just get fees from you. But it's so funny that all the headers and all the information always try, you know, they always do a really good job trying to make it look like an official document. <clears throat> But the first clue is I know the trademark office is not in Pennsylvania. So it's like, and then like they try and make their, their name sound like the other one. And it's just, just crazy. If you go to the USPTO uh, page and also the state of Florida, the, which is called SunBiz, <clears throat> their business page, they'll, they will tell you about scams like that uh, for, for different companies that try and, you know, look similar, similar and, and, you know, impersonate them. <clears throat> so that, that's all I want to tell you folks. It's like, I'm legit. I worked very hard for this document. Uh, so I just, just wanted to share my story one more time. <clears throat> so don't, don't fall for the scammers. They're, 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 they're coming down like rain. They're coming out of the woodwork like cockroaches. So uh, protect yourself. Don't be an idiot. Peace out. Love you guys. Thank you.